What's going on guys? I am actually headed to the post office doing fishing later tonight. But I opened a P.O. box like last week and I haven't really checked it yet. So I'm going to go see how many packages are there and then hopefully film an unboxing video. Maybe a little bit of vlogging here and there. We'll, we'll see. It's 11.15 uh, right now and I've got a lot to do today. So let's go to the post office. So I made it to the post office. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys in there. I, I don't know, I just feel weird. Like I think like the post office is one of those deals you just, you don't bring cameras in, so I'll be right back. 12 seconds later. Well, we got some mail to unbox. So this is what I'm gonna unbox. Now I know this is not all of fan mail stuff, but when I got home from the post office, all this stuff was at my house. So anyways, I'm gonna do just kind of a big unboxing video, honestly. This is something I haven't done in a while, and I know some of you guys probably think it's boring, but some of you guys request it all the time. I used to do Tackle Warehouse unboxings all the time, uh, like, you know, when I was like 17, 18 years old, a couple years back, and some of you guys missed that, and so I'm literally just gonna do an unboxing video, and I'm gonna start with the fan mail because that's definitely the most important fan mail hands down comes first and then it's gonna be whatever the heck's in this box this box uh, this box here that doesn't have a lick of English on it I don't really know so we're just gonna get right into this and if you guys do want to send me fan mail that I will unbox on camera the PO box address is down below check it out send me mail alright I'm gonna start with the fan mail packages first and then go into the letters and I'm not gonna read letters word for word on camera just for time sake but I will thank you and say your name and if it's something funny I'll, I might put that on camera and then we'll get into whatever is in that box there alright so the first package here comes from Joshua we got a package of looks like swim baits I see one craw craw baits is there a, is there a note it's not even a note Joshua Thanks, dude. Oh, sick. He sent me a, uh, a, a spot remover shaky head with a little craw bait on there. And then this package of, package of swim baits here. There's just a variety of colors. These might be salt water, but I've never even thrown anything like this. So this is this is pretty sweet. I don't know. I mean, there's a little, some white ones in here, so that will that might work for some bait fish. A little drop shot action there, but thanks, Joshua. Really appreciate the baits. All right, first package is done. On to the next. Let's go with this one. This, this one is from Hope. Holy crap, check this out. Check this drawing out, holy crap. It's from Hope Johnson. We got Lucky Tackle Box, Castaway, New Tech, Bass University, and AFO. Like this drawing of my logo looks better than like my logo itself. This is crazy. That's awesome, if you guys wanna do, uh, send me fan fan like artwork, I'm gonna try to do kind of what Lunkers TV did and make like a little studio deal behind me. Great job, Hope. Yay, all right. All right, what else we got here? What is this? This isn't fan mail. A Cabela's advertisement for Carl. Well, that's not me. Do you guys remember the video when John B was filming in Cabela's and I kicked him out? Are you running video on that? Because I can't have you run video in here. I'm sorry. Definitely probably going to be the last time I shop here. I get you have policies, but that's still so completely stupid. That's what I think about Cabela's. Not supporting the YouTubers, even though we give them business. Not a fan, Cabela's. Not a fan. This was a bad idea. This was a really, really bad idea. I feel like I'm gonna get burned. Oh, good God. Why did I do this? Ah! Looks like I'm not gonna be shopping at Cabela's anytime soon. Right here is another Cabela's ad. I don't wanna try to burn my house down, so I'm just gonna do that. This was damaged in handling in the postal service. So, hopefully nothing really got damaged. What do we, what do we got going on here? Oh, heck yes. There's no notes. You guys gotta write notes and say like, oh, there is a note. I'm blind, I'm sorry, that's all. That's my bad. This package is from Tucker Nail. Wrote me a very nice letter that I just managed to destroy, but he sent me a pack of yum, Christy Critter Baits. Thank you, Tucker. All right. So the rest of the fan mail is just all of these, these letters, so I'm gonna take some time, read them, go through these, and then we'll get these boxes. Thank you, Caleb Kent. He said, P.S., give me a shout out. I don't think you catch small fish, ha ha. Thanks, bud. Thank you, Trey, for the very kind letter. 
Thank you, JT Jones. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Evan, thank you for the lovely letter and drawing of the logo. You guys are way, way better artists than me. Oh, here we go. So Maya, or Mia, drew that fantastic drawing of Rob, me, Peric, Mike, and John, the Guggen Squad. Definitely go follow us on Instagram if you haven't. She has a description for all of us, but I'm just going to say mine. My description for Flair. Catches small fish, yells at his girlfriend. Thanks, Mia or Maya. Hey, man, what is good? Zach A., thank you so much for the very kind letter. You guys are awesome. That was, that was all I got for uh, fan mail. So like I said, if you guys want to send me mail, go ahead. I'm going to just real quick go through these three boxes. I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. I just have random packages show up in my door. A lot of times I don't know what's going on. Kind of describes my life, you know? I don't really know what's going on. T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Couple nice hats, hats, hats. More hats. I got some G Fuel. It's a energy drink, I guess. And some shaker bottles. Very nice of them to send me that. I guess I look tired in my videos. Probably not as tired as John B, so maybe they sent it to the wrong address. Next up, we just got a box of lime. I mean, I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna really show you like, you know, everything else. Kind of hold it up. Uh oh. Woo. All right, I've got a surprise for you guys. All right, guys, so I got two kayaks. I guess that's kind of perfect timing for an unboxing. I mean, you can't really take these out of the box since they're, they're already out of the box, but I guess I can quickly, quickly, quickly show you like a little overview of them, and then we'll go back to the unboxing we were doing out back. These dudes right here are Pelican Catch 120s. I got two of them. One is camo, I believe, and one is orange. And those are the uh, the paddles there, but I, I wanted to get into kayak fishing. I got two of them, that way I can take a buddy with me or my girlfriend or whatever. So you guys will be seeing videos of me fishing out of this dude a lot. Unfortunately, you won't see anything like really, really soon because I'm going to Canada with Roland Martin and Scott Martin and a couple other YouTubers for an entire week. And so you guys will see a ton of videos from that, I'm sure. So you can expect within a month to see some kayak fishing videos. All right, let's go uh, resume the other unboxing. Okay, I'm back. So I, 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 what do I have left here? I got this, this is all I got. So I went through the line, yada, yada. This thing, I don't know what the heck that says, but I'm sure that it's probably fishing related. It came through my P.O. box, so uh, this will be interesting. Ooh, the amount of tape used to seal this box is making me a little nervous here. Holy sh what the? Oh, I know what this is. Look how they packaged it. What the heck's going on there? It looks like a pack of freaking drugs to me. And it came from China? I literally don't even know how to open this. This thing literally makes no sense. So if you guys know One Rod, One Reel, he, he talked about this in his most recent live stream, but it's, it's tungsten, and I got some tungsten from the same exact company he did. It's basically a company in China that sells them dirt, dirt cheap. You guys know tungsten is super duper expensive. In this company, I don't know, One Rod did the math on it, but it's like it's literally like a half or a fourth of the price of just like traditional tungsten that you get at like Bass Pro or Tackle Warehouse. So I got a, just a bunch of random tungsten bullet weights essentially so i'll put the link in the description for their website and uh it takes like 10 10 days or two weeks that's why i didn't know what this was it took a while to get here but it's basically a way to get tungsten super duper cheap and for all of you guys on a budget most of you guys are probably on a fishing budget since it is extremely expensive to fish go check out the website and you can get tungsten cheap that's really really all i got so guys, that's all I have for the unboxing video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a surprise getting those kayaks like right when I was filming. I was expecting to get them later this afternoon, but super stoked to go to Canada and uh, fish with Scott Martin, Roland Martin, film a couple TV shows for them, and then of course YouTube videos for you guys. Again, if you want to send me fan mail, P.O. Box address is below. I'll just do exactly what I did in this video, you know, read them or unbox them. If you send me actual items, I'll, uh, you know, I'll make sure that is featured in the video for sure because I'm sure eventually as this, this fan mail unboxing thing grows, I'll probably get too many letters to really feature them in every single video because the videos will just be too long at that point. So send me objects, lures, you guys saw what I got, all that stuff was pretty awesome. If you enjoyed the fan mail unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more, leave a comment down below. And if you guys can think of a challenge for when I go to Canada, um, it could be like anything. It could be like a Barbie vs. Spider-Man challenge. It could be like a four pound line only challenge uh, that me and Scott and Rowan and a couple other YouTubers are doing. Really appreciate you guys watching and look forward to some really good, probably not good, probably really bad kayak fishing videos coming up soon. Peace. Wow, this place looks like a tornado freaking hit it. My God.